Of course, we can't be talking about Nigerian brands and not mention yeah, the OG Seven H O. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, down worldwide. Seven H O. I showed him the design, and he's like, "Ah, oh, do like so." Um, he was like, "Do like five for me and my team." If you're not talking small talk, we're talking big talk. We're talking about when was the last time you had sex? But hey. big tea, big tea, big tea. Welcome back everyone to the Big Top Podcast where we talk about Israel, Africans, youth and everything that happens everywhere in the world and in Alaska and in Australia. We have an amazing special guest and guest on the podcast today. It goes by Mattel Miguel and Rutimi. Rutimi. <laughs> <laughs> I have short term memory, Lucky. Yes, yeah, sir. Bro. Yeah. Uh, you might be wondering what Mattel and Rutimi do, and that's what we are here to discover today on this episode of the Big Top Podcast. Mattel, uh, can you please introduce yourself and what you do? Uh, a little introduction. My name is Mattel. I'm creative director of Le Monde and Sage. I'm also a lawyer. And this is my partner who's going to introduce himself. Okay, so um, my name is Ritsumi. I am, a, like he said, a lawyer as well. Um, also, um, we work together on um, a couple of things. Um, entertainment, IT, and um, fashion. Yes. I know of shop of Lemon D, shop Lemon D on Instagram. Um, please let us know about uh, Lemon D. I'm sure it's your brand. Mitel. Yes. So basically, um, when I was in law school, I've always I've always had the idea to you know to make something like a brand. Um, when I was in law school, I I met Rotimi at law school, and we kind of were getting to the end of law school. And I've always had like a passion for like design. And that was something like we talk about a lot. So we just um, thought about, you know, why not start a clothing brand? And I remember this day, and I wish I could show you guys a picture. Like literally, it was like we were preparing for law exams, but you know, we just like sketch out some things on a paper, like different um, logos, and that's like the genesis of um, Le Monde. So Le Monde is a streetwear brand which um, is primarily directed at like shining light on like youth create creativity of the youths uh, especially um people of african uh, descent not just nigerians but like you know i have i've grown uh, i've grown up in about three different countries now i've lived in nigeria i grew up in england and i currently live in canada and um one thing in one thing i notice is the um Africans in diaspora, the young people, are usually never um, afforded a voice or to, you know, be creative or to, you know, um, show um, their skills or whatever their passion is. And um, we, growing up, until most recently, growing up, we always were pushed to become lawyers or doctors or engineers or like, you know, the basic um, traditional roles. But in for Le Monde, I wanted to give like young people like a platform to express like you know creativity so um that's really how it started but it's, it's grown like you know bigger than that now and i'm happy for where it is right now mm. so le monde gives people a platform for to to express themselves as especially like africans in the diaspora and like yes because you know i i i relate to what you just said now because that's also why i feel is the essence of this podcast especially the location and like it being in Abuja and it being by someone of African descent. So, yeah. I, so I'm like, it's, it's, I don't feel like there's enough people telling our actual story yes. out there. If you see movies, it's always like a, a like they cover everyone in one African story. It's like, it, yes. it could be a South African telling the story of a Nigerian. Yeah, generalized yes, yes, all yes. of us on that. And there's no one telling in detail what is going on in Abuja. Like I've never, no one has ever told me about Kunu. Like, I'll be scrolling and I see about Kunu or I see about I hear about like Dabunoma. Dabunoma or like Yes, yes. You know, the stuff that really happens here. So I feel like that's the essence of Yes. I feel like that 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 core like, you know, passion, I feel like a lot of us as creatives and designers and as artists yes. share it. So um being a creative, especially in in Nigeria, is really difficult because a lot of times, um you really need money to do stuff, right? But the way Nigeria is set up, like young people don't really have that much opportunity to make money other than like work for other people. And even when you work for other people, like your time, like you're not really getting paid 
as much as your time is worth you know mm -hmm. so like people forget about their creative like dreams or like their passion just to try and focus to make money yeah but i'm i'm fortunate enough to like you know not fully depend on like making money or like I, I don't pull money at like the forefront of whatever I'm doing. Yeah. You know, because like of my my experiences and also like also I've I have like a good like community around me, like friends, mostly mm -hmm. like my friends who like, you know, regardless like they'd always try and make me see that like uh, money really isn't the main goal per se, but like, you know, um like creativity the mission like pushing it out there impact the impact you create you know like i've been in abuja now for like two months and um i've been overwhelmed but how much people are like you know asking me like oh like when is what's the money doing next like when are we uh, dropping something like you know and it was just literally overwhelming and i was shocked like you know to see that i made that much impact in people's lives like mm -hmm. it's even really been away yeah even being away from abuja for for a while now like it's really you know inspiring and um just makes me know that like you know like imp like making an impact in people's lives and inspiring other people is is really really like like great every time like see, being away from um, Nigeria for so long, right? I always like every day I'm speaking with Timmy, like every day, like would like I send him designs, like it would help me make some prints as well in Nigeria, you know, just to like test and sample, and um, you know, just keep me up to date with like what the local Nigerian community is saying. He's mm -hmm. from Lagos, which is really pretty, like different from the Abuja scene, Same, like yeah. you know, but like. Um, being in the Abuja creative scene like there's so much yeah. talent like there's so much like you know um, creativity around and yeah I feel like that's why I like uh, platforms like this like Big Talk like you know to shine light amongst like you know the little creative yeah. not really little per se but like the creative community we have in, our, in Abuja 100%. it's the capital of Nigeria like come on like you know imagine and there's no there's, uh, and that's why I keep going off that we are the biggest podcast type here because because I'm I'm here and I, and, I, and I know we are so yeah no cap. yeah yeah so like I always ask I always try to get this um, image clear for people who probably are not in Nigeria or like know about Nigeria is what is the contrast in the former capital and the capital you've been from Lagos to me like <laughs> living in Abuja now like what what do you feel like what what is the core thing that you feel like is different from Lagos traffic. I mean, Number I think <laughs> it's the um, first. It's, it's the first noticeable part. Like, um, I would like to believe because you know Abuja has a larger expanse of land than Lagos. Lagos is a. You know, it does it feel? Is it? Yeah. So kind of is actually. And then, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. the roads are you know wider, wider, um, because you know Lagos is. I call it overpopulated because of, you know, Fact, a lot yeah. of people have moved in. So yeah. uh, looking at the initial plan, probably wasn't designed to take this uh, as much amount people of people yeah. currently are there. But yeah. you know, Abuja was planned, of course, based on the mistakes of Lagos. Lagos. So yeah, of course, it did it right. I think traffic. Um, apart from traffic, you know, for me, being from Lagos, I've yeah. spent you know um, a large part of my life, you know, in Lagos. Apart from of course, when I went to uni in the UK, and um, for me, because I'm used to the terrain, um, I still prefer Lagos. So the nightlife, the yeah, you know, hustle and bustle. Although some people say you yeah. you just you just enjoy suffering, but yeah, you know, it's it it's, <laughs> it's, it's I'll just say something in the water. It's, uh, it's something in the water. Something right? in the water. When it's, you when yeah. you're from there, it's it's very difficult for you to kind of explain um, what keeps you drawn to it, but. It just works for you, and mm. uh, I mean, Mita will tell you like when you're in Lagos, you know, we have a good the time. Right? No, the energy in Lagos is different completely. Yeah, I like even like a friend of mine like uh, spoke to me about how like Lagos is a place to grind. Lagos is a place to spend your grinding years. You know what I mean? Like you're not in Abuja. Abuja is when you've made it. That's how I feel. Abuja mm. has that. Like Abuja has a lot of creative people and everything. I had a creative scene. Yeah. But I feel like the environment is just too chill. Yeah. For make you, you to relax. Like, yeah. yeah. We exactly. Had this, we, had it, we, had the, we had the discussion about this. Yeah, we about, actually did. Like, so I was playing him some videos of like. So when I was in Lagos, right? Um, I was at my cousin's house. He makes music. Batman that face his name. You guys should check him out. But I was in the studio and like this young kid comes in. Like I was playing his music, and. Like obviously I've worked with a lot of like Abuja creators and literally I could literally see the difference like in like what it means to be an Abuja creative and mm -hmm. Lagos creative. Like mm -hmm. Abuja creatives 
more or less are like from well this, this is not generalizing or like saying everyone is like you know from a place of privilege but like it's kind of really calm in here like you know like we um we ex i would say we explore more in abuja like because of like the freedom of like you know it's chill like you can make different sounds like yeah you know or we are out or whatnot but in lagos right because people are from a grinding like perspective like you really see like raw re unrefined talent like mm. you know where there's no time to think of like you know what to do next like it's just yeah. out there going back to back to back mm -hmm. you know i think it's a hunger situation yeah so hunger yeah. situation like yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say hunger, of course, like, like the zero, yeah, 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 yeah. zero, so. willpower, all of that. That's why, like, because it's like it's too active, man, and there's so much going on. Do you, do you, yeah. do you come to Lagos? And, uh, the last time I was in Lagos was <coughs> December, twenty twenty two. Oh, okay. That was the street suit. So that's a year. Oh, you oh, came for street suit. Yeah. I came for street suit. Was mad. Did was you go mad. for the one in actually, um, Abuja? I didn't come for Abuja one because I already knew where it was like. Did you, I knew where it was, and I had, I, and I already experienced it because I'd done a show there before. Yeah, yeah. And I just felt like I knew where it was going to be about, and I don't feel like I was in the best headspace. Right. Yeah, yeah. The time I was going on, so I mean, it, it wasn't. Yeah, I didn't go for it. Yeah, we that, didn't go either. Don't worry. Yeah, we got there late. So yeah, you, you we, were there as well. We were trying yeah, to. We were trying gonna to go, go over like uh, it was just a whole. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. I think that, that was it's the, the Odumodu concert day, right? It's the first, right? so, no, Odumodu had like a meet and greet that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, but he also had a concert on the same day. Or was it the next day? I think it was the same, same day. day. Yeah, was it was the same, same day. day. Same, same day, that same was the day of the Ashake concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, so um, yeah, I was going to go for Odumodu show, show for sure, day. not Street Soup. I don't know if it was the same day or the day, day after, but I was at Odumodu show. Yeah. I was so proud of it because I know Odumodu was always the guy that wants to climb on any stage that is happening it's not part of the event organizer yeah, yeah. it was just like you i'm going to bless that stage i, I have a very but funny headline funny of the you tell story the of the model for so there, there was a time in um look in 2018 i think or 2019 like uh shout out to tommy tommy called me and it's like let me tell there's a show i'm like where's the show and it was in universal abuja and that was going to be my first time in guagada Mm. I said it right, <laughs> but me Bro, and Morello. It was night time. Me and Morello drove all the way to Invest um, oh, Abuja. Shit. I think I know that day. I think were you there? I was there. I that was the same day yeah. of my, my exhibition. Ah, okay, the movie came shut down at my exhibition. Then he had a show at Guagalada. Yeah. We then drove. from Guagalada, we had to drive to the campus. Was yes, it the same day, yes, right? yes, yeah. We had to like a crazy convoy. It was, and like just seeing like um, also there are times where like we we'll just be uh, like a in the park right where like he's just performing and like you know and it's crazy seeing how much like he's grown like when i was at his concert yeah. the, the one in abuja was like yo this is crazy to see like how much like has changed from it's like you changed, know man. from is out random here like park the like link ups to yeah. like you know one thing i noticed show. about abuja is you guys put your you 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 know you kind of put your own on like no, we are you, super proud of like you guys the, like the first bloody people Sevilla, that no, the model, yeah no. they did like the and they started blowing up let's say last year like last year so for us it's fresh like we're just like super proud like any like man you guys because we experienced like these people are like if in a is a small place everywhere is like a small place so anyone that blows up here you are friends with them mm. you go out you you, you are friends with them yeah. and they are, you have so many mutual friends probably play ball with them yeah yeah exactly that kind of thing so yeah. it's like anyone that we just like you is we are super proud of but the model was the the first like so i did this artist collection one time but the model was the first person like the first artist actually pay me like pay le Monde for like like to do a show for him and um, mm. the anti war gangsters then and like i never forget that day because like um hybrid sosa hybrid sosa like hybrid sosa <coughs> yeah not trips like no, i mixed them up a little bit but like yeah hybrid yeah. uh took me to um i think it was in air like zone something though like you know but we went to meet like we're linking up with the module to mm. pick up something and then like he introduced me and, it, and like i showed him the design and he's like ah oh, do like so um he was like do like five for me and my team and i'm like for real and it's like yeah send me your account number and that was the first like before what that year was this this was in 20 2018 2019 right? most likely. 18 most likely and before then like i i'll do stuff i'll sell the people but like in terms of like uh creatives 
right i try to like do more like influential like marketing like influential mm-hmm. marketing where like i give people to you know but there was no guarantee with that that you know people would show love back and like yeah, post it yeah. up and whatnot but the model actually paid me like and that was one of the things that i'm like you know what like yeah i need i like i can't do this like you know yeah that's inspiring that's impact as well that's yeah that's that, that's one thing that resonates that people there's a people um can forget how you look but they can't forget how you made them feel something yes, like that yes yes so i feel like those things go a long way it does and speaking it does. of lemon d like where did the name come from what does lemon d mean so um i'm from canada so it's kind of like french as well so bro you're from nigeria what the fuck you talking about bro like, <laughs> he's from canada fuck you talking about bro <laughs> 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 but we get you still me tell so you so from canada i went to canada ontario mm-hmm. toronto do they have like i'm from keys? um toronto okay I, yeah i live in toronto yeah. but i'm actually moving to montreal which is a french place and i've always learned french like since i was a kid like oh, this french every Canadian place i didn't know I'm yeah sorry. canada is like buying like french and english okay well yeah so um learning french from like a younger like everyone did in Nigeria, but no one took it seriously mm. but even in uni i did learn french so le monde like le, um in french the word is le monde like Le and Mond, M O D E. So I just, you know, switched to Le E-U-I. Man. I like, think I've heard that word for Le like Mans. Le that, Mans. That, that's the word. Like, yeah, the word Le Mans. Yeah. Like L E, yeah. then M O N D E. And so I just switched to E U and I. Oh. Yeah, so it's like I, you know. So like. And I my son is from I, so it's okay. like. But still, Alliance. like, I, like, is like, you know, the world. Yeah. So yeah, and. How, um, how's I, like, the world? No, not like I. But like yeah. Le Monde, Le Monde yeah. but I just switched E with an I. Yeah, yeah, basically. That's, that's fresh. Yeah, and also um, the so we have a, like a French tag. I think yeah, it's on the shirt, right? Le so Le it's like Le Le yes, yeah, exactly. It's like l'Afrique au monde is like uh, Africa to the world, basically. You know. Okay, Africa to the world. Yeah, it's just like yeah. Cause I, yeah. I also felt like one of the reasons for like signing uh, Shure brand at the time we were signing that like there was literally. Like if you look around in Nigeria, then there was no like st- popular like streetwear brand. Like, was that the initial like? Was that the motivation to make yeah. a streetwear brand? Yeah, to d- literally that was it. Because I thought about how in um, like other parts of the world, right? Yeah. Say for example, um, in London, yeah. there was like Trapstar. Then I think like when I was in uni, Trapstar was big, and a couple of other ones, yeah. right? And people in America, for example, would buy from. Those brands. What like year was that? We were in 2018. That's when oh. <coughs> one of the biggest streetwear brands in the UK started. I'm sure you know of Cortez. Yeah, Cortez. Exactly. Yeah. Like things like that. I've always like followed like you know things like that. I see people, especially yeah. on Instagram, like you know looking at nice designs. But like I felt like Nigeria needed um, a brand that can be represented like in the world, like in a world mm-hmm. scale. Like mm-hmm. right now shout out to like you know other brands like ashlux for example that's a brand that literally like you know stands out to like stands out like 100 percent i'm high know? fashion too yeah high fashion <laughs> speaking of we have to drop traffic in there like to yeah. thirsty yeah. worldwide yeah. yes yeah. yes there's a lot there, there's yeah. a lot of brands right now going on like um, well if when you go for street soup like waffles and cream wait there's this brand is wwyd i don't know if you yeah. what would you do that's yeah. why whenever i see that thing is what would you do but i've never done my research there's uh, a lot i mean of course we can't be talking about nigerian brands and not mention yeah, the OG, Buzz 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 oh yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but that worldwide seven was one gang. of my cruise gang one of the first like um so when because they they have a brand they had a canadian like entity as well yeah so yeah i used to look at like you know used to i'm inspired by them and also the the because i used to make my stuff in gun print in abuja then yeah. and i think like something yeah, they the had it yeah so, so, yeah it's really nice like seeing like you know the growth so far yeah, the like, growth, yeah you know people in ghana like buy like nigerian streetwear mm-hmm. like in south africa like in yeah. in london you know it's crazy speaking of severe nature long live uzi I think yeah. he's the founder. He's the founder of Civil yeah. Nature. Yeah, bless you so. R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, yeah, they have they have a lot of sick stuff going on there, and like Gamspot is like is the home for like I definitely want to get my shout out Gamspot. My brand but you guys Gamspot. need to give shout out Gamspot. Shout out Shewa. 
Yeah, Shawa Shawa. Shawa is yeah. really helpful. Like, if you want to do anything, is this like giving Gams for a free plug? No, Shawa. Shawa. Yeah, I know that. You don't need the last few seconds. Shawa. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to everyone. Cause, like, shout out to everyone. Shout out to Maker. Shout out to Maker yeah. brand. We, yeah, with creativity, yeah, like I believe, like it's it should be an ecosystem because, like, especially in Nigeria where people don't really invest as much, like we all have ourselves, like you know, to every moment we get, like you know, shout each other out and you know, put each other on, like on different things, on different um, opportunities, like that's yeah. where we will grow together. Mm-hmm. You know, that's together, man. Stronger together, man. Yo, so like, um, what is the mission and vision of? Of Lemondi, like I think you've you stated that, but I just want to. Yeah, I. So basically, it's to um to in the long run to give um like Africans, especially Africans diaspora, like a um a place, a voice, of like place where they can come to create, right? You know. So um one thing I'm doing like after my pop up that's coming, right? So mm-hmm. I'm trying to like build a like expand the team. So I'm trying to give like um like opportunities to like young designers or like people into like digital marketing and like whatnot you know to give them opportunity to for the money to be like their first experience or it might not be the first but like to be part of their journey into like a wider like you know um, spectrum or wherever they're going mm. in their creative journey because mm. um um when i started lemondi another thing i i found is like obviously prior to that i've, I've had no experience like running a creative brand or being mm. a creative mm. like you know and people will never let you in space if they haven't seen your previous like what you, your previous work like you know yeah. so i want lemondi to like take that burden away from like young creatives to like give them a chance to like you know um create like if you have um any ideas like you know come yeah. come to is us like, like, like a structure like how do you plan to do this like execute like how do you plan to give them a chance is it um, like hiring them um, basically, um, not full time hiring. I'm not, you know, I'm not Tinubu, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like providing a um, see what, like what Test um, is doing, right? Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Like, I really want to, like, in long term, like, do more, like, workshops, like, get people to, like, talk to, like, younger generation about, like, mm. design, design thinking, like, IP law, like, intellectual property, like, you know, all those things, like, to teach creatives, like, ways that, like, they don't have to depend on, like, a bigger government. system or government, like, to, you know, fund their dreams or to even start wherever they want to do, like, mm. you know, in, like, with Lemondi like we've done so much like not just with clothing but like even in music yeah. like um we recorded a tape that's not yet out but might never be out because like now the people on the tape are so clear <laughs> you know <laughs> they are global yeah do you have the model on the tape yeah with the model replay okay, so <laughs> got really, told me really hard Zilla. Song. i'm telling you to clear it now no. well who knows? Yeah. everybody that had the you richard, want to clear richard, it now, richard are big. tell you to wait yeah, shout out mm-hmm. to Richard as well. <laughs> but we also have a SETI uh, vest on, like, uh, feature that's on good. them. Yeah, SETI. You know her too well. So, yeah, that's my... That's, that's you know what? She's, like, the... She's the honorated member of Lamondi. Oh, I wish she was here. Did you say underrated or honorated? Like, honorary. Yeah. Oh. Bro, I'm not good in English like that, but it's yeah. all good. Yeah. So, um... Wrote to me. Yes. What do you do? Like... You're a lawyer in life, or just yeah, no, in, in general, general, like okay. like w- well, you're so in a suit and tie, so it's giving like very offi- not suit and tie, but you get me, like it's it's giving very official, official. vibes. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I mean, um, so yes, I'm a lawyer. My day job is um, is a lawyer, is law. So, yeah. But I work um, primarily in tech, like I mentioned initially. Yeah. So um, yeah. Wrote to me does not money lender. I mean, money launder. M- money launder. That sounds like not. a bit. Yeah. Where's that, that, like that, 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 that coming up here? But yeah, I, um, so I work, um, work in tech, but yeah. I also do a lot of um, consulting. So I work with um, you know, creatives a lot. Um, yeah. One of them is um, Esgod. Um, Esgod, like okay. You mentioned. Um, so yeah, but with Lemondi, yeah. um, more of the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, like um, consulting. Yeah, yeah just... Yeah. You know, Mitel, Mitel really is the, he's the CEO. 
is the, is the brain let's mm-hmm. put it that way so let's just say uh, more of a whisperer it's uh, you apply you your know, knowledge to has it. has this idea we talk about it yeah um you know and you know he he just keeps bet- getting better i swear like um every Thank time he much. sends me something different it's like yeah man, it's like this guy you're applying yourself for. like because yeah. we were talking about like um when we started it was um just the weird night it was just talking it started from just um talks and what i saw him do within like the night we had the first discussion yeah and the next day I was mm. like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Execution. I think we have something. It's a different Even ball, just yeah. coming up with the name, coming yeah. up with the first designs, yeah. you know. And yeah. Um, yeah. So, and um, what, what were we talking about? Yeah, stuff I do. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's, um, it's it's an interesting job. Unfortunately, I, ha- I, my, I always wear suits. Uh, that's not unfortunate. I feel like that's swaggy. That's dream. Is it? Is yeah. It? Uh, if you have any... Oh, hot. we can't advertise on... No, okay. no, no, no. So, no, so, 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 Mikhail, you do all the designs, right? <laughs> like, that low lights, eh? what, are you, what are we on about? No, because, like, in, in the legal field, in legal profession, you cannot, you know... Advertise something. You're you going to advertise something. I was no, you can't say, advertise services. It's, I was uh, not okay. going to say... Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, you're going to say, yeah, the design. Yeah, the design aspect of things, because you... Yes. I, I Like, first of all, I want to just say thank you so much for yesterday, because... Oh, we, no problem. We had technical issues on the episode that... 9697 yeah we had technical issues and he was one who responded i came through after i sent like an instagram um help yes <laughs> call for help and sos thank you so much you know and, SOS. With the flip. And, and that was when i got to experience you on your like on your laptop and you know i don't want to disclose the softwares that you you're using yeah but, like, i saw that you're actively expensive softwares <laughs> you're actively a designer so please tell us about like you know your yeah, experience design. being a designer so um since since i was a kid right like I, by the way, I was born in Worry, right? Yeah. I was born in Worry, and um, yeah, it's just we didn't really have that much yeah, creative stuff going on. However, my parents got me a laptop, and I used to always download, um, like, you know, Photoshop and whatnot. Yeah, and just paint. being, yeah, and just being, like, you know, playing around it. And growing up to, like, now, um, I'm actually also in marketing as well mm. so like most of the things i do like borders around designing and like you know website designing and yeah. you know whatnot so i mostly do all the designs my not mostly i do all the designs myself but i'm trying to expand like i said um, work with people yeah to work with more uh, creators in abuja yeah. and whatnot mm. so yeah nice um do you have any x as a designer like stuff that like that you don't forget as a designer that you, that that you know mm. you feel me x Yes. Working One, with clients or like just in... in oh, my, my ache is like... So, for example, if I'm work... I barely actually work with four people, right? Mm-hmm. Because like I love the creative freedom. Yeah. You know? and But one of my ache is when I get to work with people and I like do something... And you want to change you want to change it or one right review yeah right and it's just the back and forth process it's just like yeah, it's like. Like, let me like be free, people, people giving right? you directions don't know the layers yes, of work yeah. that you've done or what you've exported or rendered or merged. Yeah, exactly. It's like, to oh, it needs to change. And it's just like, yeah. bruh, she have told me this earlier. Exactly. Like, literally, now it's been exported as a PNG. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, exactly. you know? Exactly, yeah, those ones. <laughs> <laughs> Them ones. Um, do you, like, w- are you self-taught as a designer or did you study any course that... I'm, I'm self-taught. Like, you know, I've always just played on a computer and... Um, you know, but I, I still try to learn like, you know, stuff from um, like YouTube. I love YouTube. Mm. And yeah, um, yeah. So the last time we saw was before this December was uh, 2021. Flow sessions by Klinsman, who was a co-host on the podcast, but yeah, <laughs> then got a job. And uh, I'm not going to disclose any more information. But <laughs> yeah, that was the first last time. We was that the last time you were in Nigeria? Yes, that was the last time I was in, in Nigeria. I was actually in Nigeria for my friend's wedding, mm-hmm. and I got invited to that by Frosty, IBM. Yeah, Frosty yeah. was part of the team for first session. Yeah, well. and that was a nice event. I got to meet other creators as well. Um, yeah, so that was a really, and I, and I met you, and I really, like, really fucked with your art. Like, Bless it was Thank like, you, you know, different. And I some pictures that they had. I don't know, maybe I'll share them on the screen. Yeah. Maybe not. I probably have those pictures still. I check my yeah, camera. They're on my Instagram. 
Um, do you still take pictures? Do you do photography still? Um, does it all? Does it all? Yeah, right? I try. You have to <laughs> like, <It's a> lot. <laughs> in this day and age, man, they just you just have to like you have everything. To do everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, thank God, I'm up. You know, I'm trying to delegate some Amen. some things. You yeah. know, so um, get at me if you wanna. You know, collaborate, work, anything. Also, yeah. I I didn't talk about Sage. So Sage is my creative agency in. Toronto and I'm looking to work with like so much like creatives from across the world mm. and if you want to um, collaborate or create any um, Toronto creative like you know get at us mm. as well the what does Sage mean? Um, wisdom Metedere mm. actually can like my middle name Metedere actually means like you mm. know wisdom. the wise Wise, wise. Yeah. Well, I'm wiser than my. I'm, I'm wiser than my mates, but like I don't mm. like saying the full meaning because that which makes like I'm bragging. So, mm. but yeah, I just name my. Don't be mm. nice like that. Like I'm. Let yeah. Them know what it is, man. I'm learning more to do that. Don't mind me, like you get me. Yeah, now nah, you know you need to. Yeah. Give yourself your flowers. Before. Give yourself your flowers. No Thanks. Going to give it to you, man. That's Thanks. dope, man. Yo, I'm, I'm glad we did this. Uh, I'm so, yeah, I'm so. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for <laughs> thank you know for having us. this. Yeah, it's a pleasure, and shout out to Roti Me, you know, for coming through as well from his busy schedule. You yeah. know, drop by the number one lawyer in Nigeria. Yeah, not advertising. Don't let them look for me. Hashtag. Thank you, thank you for having us. This is nice. Bless this is man. a really nice space. Yeah. yeah, I wish thank we could you. ask you questions. You can actually ask me any question yeah. to be honest. Before Victor, ah, we intervene, Victor, interview now. How did you come up with the name? Uh, so basically, there's an episode where we talk about it, but it's the opposite of small talk. Long story short, mm. so if you're not talking small talk, we're talking big talk. We're talking about when was the last time you had sex, but we watered it down a little bit so we are not too like intrusive or interrogative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everyone is good with confrontation. So very PG. Yeah. So like, well, it's not even that PG <laughs> because we do the most on here. Like, if you watch our episodes, like when I watch it, I'll be like, what, the, what have we, what have we been doing? But like. Basically, that's how I came up with it. Opposite of small talk. Interesting. Did you talk. did you ever did you set out in life to want to you do know, a podcast? Do no, a podcast did, no, no. Podcast was never the goal. I've always wanted to be like an artist. First of all, I wanted to be a pilot. Then I wanted to design cars. I know I've always been good at art and design. So I always wanted, I've always wanted to do something in the space of design. Our own Nigerian Virgil Abloh. <laughs> you know what time it is. Cool. Yeah. Big respect cool. to Virgil. Still like, he's he's the, he's like the father of all design. Yeah. That's how I see him. Um. So like, yeah. I'm glad you're interviewing me because I've always been praying <laughs> to, <laughs> to ask that question. So, like, I never thought of doing podcasts. I always wanted to do um, these other things, but um, my parents actually sponsor most of what is going on here. So, like, the thing that they so you're agreed, saying a trust fund kid. Well, like, it's it's kind of like not trust fund, but thing. it's still the get, like it's still hustle. Like, they, mm. they 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 put me here, then I had to like sustain it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they just gave you the keys and then yeah, they gave me the keys and it's like what hey, happens look, next? If is you fuck you. it up, it's on you type shit. So and you're doing well. So like this is really thank nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice so place. yeah, basically, so like like podcast. I just found out that that was one thing that was missing here. No one's really telling our story like here. Yeah. And I'm a huge fan of podcasts. Even when I'm drawing, when I'm doing stuff, sometimes I listen to an hour to hour episode of Brilliant Idiots. And I just thought that look, there's so many people that are out here. I <laughs> love, not, I love brilliant. Yeah, yeah. brilliant is yeah. sick. And, uh, Andrew shows and Charlemagne. So like, yeah. And I just thought that that was what was missing here. And you know, the game is the game. Yeah. And providing like that service is, is going to work inevitably. As in being an entrepreneur as well. Yeah. So, are yeah, you yeah. able to move around in Abuja without you know escorts as a big yeah, talk? Yeah, my w- <laughs> 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 Bro, my my car is like is is, is a normal camera. Like no, I'm moving ab- around Abuja like that, man. No, Gotta hide, yeah, you know, man. like the big talk. So what was your what was the what was that moment for you that made you realize that okay, people are actually listening? Like uh, the moment was oh, the movie was our first viral moment. Like when he said he likes to fuck play football and I, do, I forgot the third thing <laughs> got 30k views on Instagram that was like our n- episode number 9 that, guy oh. is so funny. that was episode number 9 so this is episode number 100 or something look this one or something this is after 100 yeah. this is coming out in February yeah. century yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah you have a call yeah you have to get that call do, do you want to step out and get the call yeah do it do it we are going to close it up oh. anyways yeah thanks for liking subscribing following the podcast yeah uh, big up Mitel and Rotimi for coming on the podcast. Everything about Mitel and Rotimi will be in the description of this video. So please check the description of this video. Big Talk, Big Talk is the biggest podcast piece we outside. Yeah. And cut.